Hi, this is Damien Foley and this is my MBA journey at the Melbourne Business School. And uh, the topic for today is, uh, I'm calling it uh, education uh, and where to find it. So I'm just going to basically run through what I did today. So I woke up at 6.30 uh, this morning, went to the gym, uh, was listening to an audio book while I done, went to the gym. I uh, then came up at 7.30, done uh, clean the oven <laughs> at 7.30 a.m. in the morning, um, had some breakfast, had a shower. I then jumped onto my laptop and started doing some work around the MBA. I set up my email on Gmail with the uh, student uh, email that uh, with the University of Melbourne, set that all up, uh, went through those emails that I had, which was nothing important really, except for um, there was one uh, email there for doing a course, uh, a, uh, something through the University of Melbourne on their education learning, uh, learning management system, uh, which is either Blackboard or Canvas, and that was around consent uh, matters is called. So that's around sexual consent. Uh, so I actually did that. Uh, might not necessarily been required to do it, but I done it anyway because I thought it was very important to um, to do it because I I haven't actually done anything around uh, um, that type of form of education um, uh, consent. So I it took me about an hour to go through. Uh, I did find it informative and made me question, you know, things that I, that's happened to me in the past and uh, made me think about those things. Uh, obviously, I'm now 40 years of age, so, you know, 20 years of since I was at started university, so things, you know, have come along. Uh, done that, set up the email. Uh then I started doing my business bookkeeping uh, for the 2019 uh, financial year to get that ready to send off to my external accountant for Foley Business Management. Uh, that involved also, uh, you know, I've got things such as chasing up trade debtors, uh, so people that owe me money, uh, getting that all sorted out. I then later on had, uh, this afternoon, had a meeting with a MBA grad from Melbourne Business School. Uh, and we and we talked about uh, considering. Uh, we talked about the um, about the MBA and where I was going, in what direction I wanted to go, because I have obviously my background in consulting. Uh, do I want to work as an employee or do I want to work in my business? And where does the MBA fit into that, or what? career path am I taking with that and what's you know what what options do I have around that so we talked about the considering uh, working for an in, uh, for an international company because the MBA, MBA is uh, recognized a lot more by international companies more so as a, a valued asset um, than say an Australian company as I've discussed previously in uh, another video uh, around careers, um, the benefits of working for an international company where there's a lot more professional development, uh, they're more more likely to invest in professional development. Um, working inside an international company, I have the ability to to travel inside the organisation because they will likely have overseas posts that I can potentially work in around the world. Uh, so that gives me uh, experience in other countries. Uh, working in, in different areas as well, if that's the organisation allows that. Um, Australian firms don't value the MBA so much. They're more about experience, um, professional development, um, probably not so much uh, as much as uh, potentially. Uh, there's, they, there's more of an emphasis that the uh, employee will do their professional development. 
Uh, what he took away from the NBA was it was a more rounded uh, knowledge of business for, for him. He came from an area in legal, uh, so his um, learning about the financial side of business was um, uh, a, a big learning experience for him, so he really liked that. Um, there was also the discussion around where the NBA in Melbourne Business School is maybe a little behind in certain areas, um, say for Dana Rani Clinics, um, he suggested that perhaps it's, you know, it was a good foundation, probably didn't get into the, you know, the detail or the crux of uh, as much as it possibly could have. Um, so, and, and discussions around that where, uh, you know, the, the MBA here in Melbourne Music School uh, could have went could have went further or been a bit more uh, hands-on practical and uh, for experience. Um, I then uh, watched The Big Short here at home uh, after I cooked dinner and I watched The Big Short, which is obviously about the global financial crisis and how it came about with the, the big banks and the collateralised debt obligations and um, how the how the uh, the ratings agencies were involved, the government was involved, Treasury in the US, uh, if not around the world as well. So how they, they played a part in it. Uh, this was actually referenced actually in the uh, audio book by Robert Kiyosaki as well to reference to, to check out The Big Short and how that uh, came into play. Um, I then received an email while I was listening to that uh, from Melbourne Business School through the student email uh, that I set up on my phone. Uh, so I set it up the, the Gmail so I received notifications uh, from my student email now. And it was actually my invoice for doing the MBA uh, for this term. So I've got the two half subjects and the two uh, full subjects which comes to at $4,300 per full unit, uh, full subject, uh, came to $12,900. So just for the term, uh, this term, $12,900 Australian dollars. So that I have put on to doing on the HELP, so the Higher Education Loan Program. Uh, that will uh, means that I'll pay that off through uh, my paying of salary every time I get paid. Part of that will go towards the um, part of my, part of that will go to the government and at the end they'll, um, they'll work out how much I pay based upon uh, how much is owed and how much I make. So that'll be paid off and it's CPI index. Um, uh, human price indexed uh, as far as um, the loan interest is calculated on that. So I'll go through some of the things that was taught that Robert Kiyosaki talked about in his uh, in the audio book that I was looking to this morning, um, which is and the name of the book again was uh, Why the Rich Are Getting Richer. Um, he talks about uh, stated that the MBA's um, um, he started the MBA himself, but he never actually finished it. He found it was more inclined when he was doing aimed at uh, for employees rather than business owners or entrepreneurs. Uh, and it, but he does state that the MBA is a valuable uh, asset for employees. Um, he also says that it's uh, a very important uh, thing to have. Um, he did point out the difference between being an employee and being an entrepreneur is that when you're an employee, you're not expected to fail. I mean, the last thing you want is if you're doing somebody's tax return is to, if you're an accountant, uh, is to make a mistake because, you know, there's implications for that. And we taught that through all through school. You're given a mark and um, we're taught not to, make mistakes not to fail it's all about passing and 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 about good marks and 
Uh, if you've read any of Robert Kiyosaki's, Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad books, he sort of emphasizes that school and university, college are all aimed for um, become a good employee, not necessarily a good business owner or entrepreneur. So whereas his uh, rich dad, who was uh, his best friend's father, uh, who was a business owner, uh, didn't go through uh, a lot of school, uh, self-made millionaire, and he learned by doing. And he made a lot of mistakes, and he actually valued making mistakes because the more mistakes you made, the the hopefully you learned from those mistakes uh, and improved from them. So making mistakes or failure was very important, is a very important part of being an entrepreneur. Whereas making mistakes and, and failing is not seen as a good thing when you're an employee. You, you need to do it um, well. So that's the thing. Uh, he talks about, as I said, he talked about The Big Short, uh, the movie that I watched tonight around that, uh, talking about the failures of, um, you know, these people who were uh, being paid big money and, and, and knew the knew what was best for the, the financial system, allowed it to get in such a mess. Um, and he quotes also about, uh, by a, does a quote and mentions Warren Buffett who says that Wall Street is the only place where uh, millionaires go to get advice from people who take the subway, uh, <laughs> who drive Ross. Yeah, millionaires who, people who, uh, people who, People who get driven in Rolls Royces go to get advice from people who take the subway uh, on Wall Street, so from employees. So he, that's uh, he, he, you know, he talks about the the failings of the, the financial system and how it's not set up to necessarily is not necessarily being operated by the right people. So, um, yeah. So I suppose this all comes into play around. For me, all of today has been so. This is where the education side and learning um, has come about. I've I've had a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of ways I learned today. Um, when I was in the gym, I was listening to an audio book. Um, when I, I I'm I'm doing my uh, the bookkeeping for my business, um, which is that something I, I keep doing? Do I get, follow the path of a of an entrepreneur? Uh, or do I look and with the discussions that I had with a, a mentor, if you will, uh, when speaking to the graduate from the MBA and talking about getting a career, becoming an employee uh, for a, a company and, and go about it that way, which, you know, is I've got to make these. These are things that I'm considering. Uh, what am I using the MBA for? Am I using it to get a good job uh, working for somebody else or am I going to use this somehow uh, in my own business as an entrepreneur? So, you know, and is the MBA the right thing that I should be actually doing in the first place uh, for the value that it's costing me and the time is going to take the two years? Could I be putting that money somewhere else? Um I, you know, I also watched The Big Short, you know, watched a movie, so that was another form of education. Um, so today was all about learning and considering what my career, my, my opportunities are uh, moving forward. Do I want to look at a career? Do I want to look at uh, as an employee or do I want to continue in my business? And what am I going to do with that? Because... Um, you know, am I going to do it just by myself as a self, uh, in the words of uh, Robert Kiyosaki's um, cash flow quadrants? Am I going to be sitting in the S quadrant, which is self-employed? Uh, or do I sit and work, or do I go and work for somebody in the E quadrant, which is as an employee? Or do I want to do something where transition my self, my business from being self-employed and turn that into an actual business where it's running and, and being operated by other people and I don't necessarily be in it to, to make it run? Uh, or do I want to look at 
uh, being a small time investor in the I quadrant uh, as an employee or self em- or somebody self employed, where I take part of the money that I make and invest that into the share market or buy an investment property, you know, things like that, simple stuff. Or do I go big time where I may become a big, uh, create a big business and I start to learn how to invest in other businesses? Uh, and from that, obviously, risk return uh, is greater potential for return based upon the risk, starting with small businesses and growing them and being able to uh, have input about that. So, yes, these are the, the learnings and where to, where I've found education and, and things to think about for where I'm going with all this. Um, am I doing the right thing by doing the MBA? When I could be spending that other money, you know, the third, the twelve thousand nine hundred dollars that just for this term, could I put that into doing uh, workshops or doing a course some on, on something else? Um, is the MBA the right thing for doing that? Is the MBA MBA going to be the right thing for me in terms of when I want to? Is it for me to become an employee, or is it for me to uh, become a entrepreneur? To, to build my business, to work in business. Cause, so, and, and what type of work am I going to be doing, whether for my business or as a, in career? My background is accounting and business, working uh, specifically my, my niche area is working with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander owned businesses or Indigenous businesses. Where does that fit in as far as employment? Where does that fit in as far as my business? Um, do I continue down that path or do I go another way with it and look at other aspects such as social procurement, which is another area, so social enterprise. Um, yeah, these are the things to consider or, or what I'm doing with it. So so the summary of uh, all of this is I've, I've found learning from uh, reading a book or listening to an audio book, I found... Uh, information by uh, mentors. I've uh, found education by doing it myself in my business. I've found education by watching a movie, The Big Short. Um, yeah, so there's all different forms of, of education. Is the MBA the right one for me? Um, there's only one way to find out, I suppose, and that's to do it. Make the failings, make mistakes, see if it's, I can only find out by doing it myself and getting into it. And look, if the worst the worst thing that can happen is I don't feel it's the right thing for me and I've spent this money and I drop out and it's going to cost me this money that I have to pay back. Um, but in saying that, I've done, the co- I'll, I'll done those courses, those subjects. Hopefully, I will take from that something from those. So, and those will be the time, and and what I take away from those, uh, I'll try and share with you guys here as part of these videos uh, in some way. It might, I might not know what that is straight away from, from doing the, uh, from doing every class, from each class. It might be a case that I learn it in class, I then go and when I'm doing work, whether it's working as an employee for somebody uh, and doing something there or whether it's in my own business and from uh, and doing that work I use something from the MBA that enhances the value of the quality of the of the work that I'm doing something that I've learned will contribute to uh, make a, a value add to to what I'm doing and that's when I learn hey I've just got something from doing the MBA so it might not be straight away from the class where I have a light bulb moment. Um, so, yes, that's what I've learned from all this. I actually uh, start my job, my uh, work tomorrow at the, the new um, my new employer. So I'll be letting you know how that goes tomorrow if I have time. Uh, probably won't necessarily tell you who I'm working for straight away. It is around working with businesses, uh, and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander businesses, actually, in a consulting fashion. Um, so, again, it's working with my strengths. Um, this organisation wanted me 
just from having a conversation, didn't even necessarily look straight away at my resume. Uh, it was only just in conversation. I was talking with some to somebody in that organisation and talking about my my knowledge and experience. They said, "I think we you're the person that we need to to do the job for for what's coming up." So uh, there was another job that was offered to me. Well, I take that back. There was another organisation where the people at the uh, at the in the actual area that wanted me to bring me into their organisation, they felt I had value and could contribute to it. Uh, unfortunately, this was a large organisation that got passed up through uh, management into HR and it came back down through the large organisation that there was an, an actual position there available. Therefore, they were not going to create a position for me, even though the people on the ground were saying, we want you. So uh, that is a big organisation for you. And this is something, you know, again, I have to consider working for a, uh, a big international multinational organisation. Is that something I want to get involved with, the red tape and bureaucracy? Um, but the opportunities might might be there. Do I want to work for a small organisation um, where I'm not going to get professional development as so much? Um, but there isn't going to be the red tape and mucking around. I might be able to work somewhat autonomously in my role and really create some value there for uh, whoever I'm working for, be it the employer or the the, the customer, the client. Uh, who we're I'm pro worth providing a product or service for. So, you know, less restrictions, but not necessarily the um, the same benefits that I may get from working for a, a larger organisation. These are all the things that I have to factor in. Or do I go and work for myself and, you know, struggle working 14, 16-hour days uh, and, um, you know, trying to wear all the hats in the organisation of doing the marketing, doing the business development, uh, doing the work, um, doing the, the bookkeeping, taking phone calls, answering the emails uh, and all this and, and struggle to, to get anywhere with it. And then have everyone demand for me, a uh, request for me to, for them to do work for them, uh, but not not for for pay. They don't want to do a, a, a uh, do it as a goodwill of voluntary service. So, and just in that reference, uh, there's something that I have learned from doing that. Um, I've done a lot of uh, community work and voluntary work. The thing that I have learned from that is that volunteer work doesn't pay very well and goodwill doesn't pay for the groceries or the electricity. Um even though I get asked for it and, you know, talk, t be told that, um, you know, what a great, you know, great contribution this is to the community and, you know, and we should always give give back. And the problem is sometimes you can always uh, be asked to always to give. And I've been in situations where uh, other people sitting around a table are asking me to give but they themselves don't have time because they're too busy working uh, uh, and to make money for themselves to be able to have time to give themselves, which I find ironic. And But it was the expectation that I would give and because I was the expert in, in around business that I should be the one to do it. So I, I'm re I've reassessed that and... Uh, that's less of what I'm going to do, to do uh, in the in the future, and I've been doing. I will choose very deliberately and discreetly what I'll be giving my time and money towards on a voluntary community basis. As I said, I've done vol uh, volunteered and and done mentoring with university students. It's something I've enjoyed. It doesn't take a lot of time. I'm all I'm all great with that. It's when people start asking me to do their book work or to come in and sit down in meetings and uh, but not be paid for it. Um, that's where I draw the line and say no. It's not going to happen anymore. Uh, I do need to worry about myself. I need to worry about my family. I need to uh, consider my future because 
it's um, all well and good to say that um, I'm doing all these great things in the community, but not seeing uh, at the end of the day that is to the detriment of myself and my family. So take that as you will and have your own comments and feedback about that, but that's just the reality of how it is. Uh, somebody said to me, you volunteer work and, uh, and being on boards and uh, volunteering is something you do for your retirement when you've got nothing else better to do with your time uh, and you've got the knowledge and experience to be able to contribute towards that. So, uh, again, that's been a source of my uh, learning So by doing and mentors as well. So, okay, guys, I'm going to go to bed and I hope you take away something from this ep um this um, video uh, of my on, in my MBA journey at the Melbourne Business School, um, and I'm going to go to bed to get ready to get up in the morning, go to the gym, get ready for work, my new job, and I will give you some feedback um, potentially on how that all goes tomorrow. Okay, guys, you can follow me on YouTube at Damien Foley. Or you can check out my website, www.damianfoley.com forward slash MBA. Okay, guys, good night. Bye.